The motif of black and white is very prevalent in the novel Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. Ellison uses black and white to portray the theme of conformity versus individuality. White is used as the color of congruence and control, while black is used as the color of individuality and self-expression. A more obvious use of the black and white motif is to describe the theme of white dominance and control over the black people in American society. There was nothing to do but what we were told. All ten of us climbed under the ropes and allowed ourselves to be blindfolded with broad bands of white cloth. Invisible man is covered up and blindfolded by a white cloth. This symbolizes his lack of control of the situation and how he has once again fallen victim to white dominance. This also emphasizes the point that the black men were only there for the entertainment of the white patrons. Ahead of me, a huge electric sign announced its message through the, through the drifting strands of fog. Keep America pure with Liberty Paints. But when I looked into the white graduate, I hesitated. The liquid inside was dead black. The phrase, keep America pure, implies that anything other than white is not perfect, and that conformity and a loss of individuality, specifically those of the African-American ethnicity, is the only way to achieve perfection in America. The motif of black and white in the paint is also used to point out that whites would much rather keep the value of African-Americans' contributions to society hidden. But now above the movement of the hands, I heard a friendly voice uttering familiar words to which I could assign no meaning. I listened intensely, aware of the form and movement of sentences, and grasping the now subtle rhythmical differences between progressions of sound that questioned and those that made a statement. But still their meanings were lost in the vast whiteness in which I myself was lost. Invisible Man is described as being covered head to toe in white. Ellison uses this, des this description to depict the confusion and loss of self that I am is experiencing. I am is further severed from his past life and himself, and feels greatly disoriented by all the white. This is a metaphor for white empowerment and how I am is lost and confused behind the white control. Three mounted policemen loomed beneath the circular, snow-sparkling beam of the street lamp. Grasping their horses by their bridles, the heads of both men and animals bent close, as though plodding, the leather of saddles and leggings shining. Three white men and three black horses. This quote explains how blacks are often used to hold up and support the whites. Although the blacks are doing all of the work, the whites still get the recognition and glory. The white police officers on top of the horses is Ellison's way of describing how the whites are in total control and are leading the black workhorses to do their bidding. The motif of black and white best develops the theme of authenticity. The color black is used to express individuality and uniqueness. The color white is used as a contrast and expresses the prohibition of freedom and the boundaries placed on self-expression. Without black, there is only conformity and congruence, and thus prevents one from being their authentic self. Invisible Man spends most of the novel conforming to whatever identity is being forced upon him by those in control and seldom experiences what it is like to be authentic to himself. Once he finally becomes aware of the negative effects that conformity can have, he is able to finally be an individual, his authentic self.